What's up in a BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit Day number 246. I got something very special today. It's only a tiny little bottle. The Shelter Point Ripple Rock Whiskey. Um, I believe it's only available at the distillery if you go pick it up yourself. Um, this is part of their advent calendar, which I was lucky enough to get a uh, case of. Um, this one's really cool. Uh, super, super limited edition. 47% alcohol. Um, what it is, is it's aged at least six years in American oak and then finished 18 months in virgin cask that has been alligator charred. So what does that mean? It's a super heavy char um, where the wood really blisters up and looks like alligator skin on the inside. So virgin oak, you're gonna have a lot of natural sugars um, that are gonna caramelize and create a lot of vanilla and a lot of those sort of really big, bold flavors that you get from your whiskey, especially from a, a alligator char. Um, alligator char, it's starting to become a bit more prominent now, kicking around here and there around uh, whiskey distilleries, but it's a nice finishing one. It's got, It's very, very, very intense, so you're going to be very, very careful how long you finish it in. Classic uh, shelter point on the nose. But there's something underlying, like an alligator in the water. There's something just kicking about there in the background. Oh, I love that nose. It just reminds me of, like, rain in Campbell River. There's just something about... That terroir of Shelter Point and this the, their whiskies. Wow, you can really, 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 whoo, you can really feel how that alligator char is like, like jacked up Shelter Point. It's like there's been a Shelter Point artisanal whiskey sitting in the back of that that uh, Rick House. Just freaking hitting the weights, chewing on protein. It's just jacked up, ready to go clobber someone. Wow. I really got to try and get a bottle of this. I really got to try and get a full bottle of this and put it in the collection because holy bejesus. 47% um, obviously has got that higher alcohol content. Once you keep through that, it's like deep chocolates, caramels, um, some really, really earthy, uh, almost herbaceous notes to it on the palate. And then you've just got that classic Shelter Point-esque, sort of really nice single malt, really structured Highland style. But that man, that oak, whew, I feel it behind my eyes. What a fantastic little number. Big, bold, round. Usually I find with the Shelter Point's a nice round, sort of like soft round corners. This is just like, boof, boof. And it's just in your face. Um, I really hope they make more of this. This is an uh, outstanding example from them. 47% is great. The chocolates, the cocos, the vanillas, everything. Just money. If you can get some, get some. The Ripple Rock from Shelter Point. Uh, see you guys tomorrow.